well, they should have tested this on humans before they um, put this out on the market because... <laughs> and welcome back to my channel to girl just naughty and today i'm going to be talking to you guys about this garnier fructis three in one hair mask if you guys have been following my previous videos i've been making my own hair mask from scratch well prior to that i did give a few other masks a try and this was one of them um i am a couponer so i do get my hands on a whole bunch of hair products and this is one of those products that i purchased but never tried and i decided to give it a try last year before you guys purchase this product, I want you guys to look at this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna let you guys know a few things about this product before I let you guys know how I feel about it. This is what the front of the product looks like. All right, so this product says that it is a vegan formula. It is a 94% biodegradable formula. It has no silicones, no parabens, and no artificial coloring. This is one of their smaller containers. It has 3.4 fluid ounces. In the back it says the three ways you can use this to plump hair is you can one use it as a hair mask which after you shampoo you apply it onto the wet hair and leave it on for one minute then rinse. Two you can also use it as a conditioner after you shampoo you can apply it to your hair from root to tip and rinse. And three you can use it as a leave-in you can apply it on damp hair for lasting hydration and voluminous plumping. It said it's suitable for color treated hair. All right, so let me tell you guys how this feels. This product has no slip to it. I used the first option where I applied it as a hair mask. So I did apply it while I was in the shower, being that I only had to leave it in for one minute. Um, and I'm happy that I didn't leave it in any longer because if I did, then I'd probably have to chop off all my hair. When I first applied this product, like immediately, my hair started feeling dry. My hair started feeling dry. There was no slip to it. Um, and I could barely detangle. I could barely detangle it. Mind you guys, I've, I already applied the shampoo, so that already stripped my hair of the oils that was up there. Um, every time I wash, I always shampoo first. But I applied this right after, which it says to do at the back, right? I left it in for only one minute, literally. Like, I put it on, went on to the next section, rinsed that off, rinsed that off, you know, then continued in the back. My hair did not take to this well. In fact, after I got done rinsing this product out, my hair immediately started clumping up. Like, I couldn't use the blow dryer if I wanted to. I could barely finger detangle. Like, I was literally pulling chunks of my hair out, not strands. You know how you guys get those little fairy knots and, and stuff like that? It wasn't that. I was pulling out chunks of my hair to the point that when I got done detangling, like, when I got done with my very last section, you could see through parts of my hair. So my hair, like, thank God my hair is thick, but them ends is gonna have to get cut off. Ends, my ends, it's not as, as thick as it used to be. Kinda wish I didn't try this. Although this product says that it does not have any silicones, when I tell you this thing works like a shampoo, like, you know how shampoo, like, it, it really cleanses your hair? Like, this right here, it really cleansed my hair. Like, it stripped my hair of everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I had protein overload because I don't put hair mask in my hair that much. And I'm gonna let you know right now, like, it's this product. This product is a no-no for me and I'm never gonna try it again. And hopefully I can save someone else from trying this product before they rip out their hair. This product is no good. I followed the, the same steps that I did with every hair mask that I have, any product that I put on my hair, and it never did this before. Now you could try this if you want to. Trial and error, right? <laughs> you could try this if you want to, but this, this product is not good, it's trash. And they should have really tested this on every hair type before they, well, they should have tested this on humans before they um, put this out on the market because I'm telling you guys, even if they sent me this product to review for them, I would not give them a good review because it was bad. And um, hopefully, I promise, hopefully you guys don't go through what I went through and, and try this thing. <laughs> it's no good. And I'm happy that I didn't get the big one. Like I did use all of this. It, it didn't have a bad smell, but I used it all and I saved this container for you guys just so I can make this video for you guys. To be honest, what I should have done was I should have went on YouTube and searched up reviews for this product to begin with. Um, I'm sure they got a lot of negative reviews on this. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not a fan of Garnier Fruity's products and I just wanted to give this a try and I was hoping that it would work. I really haven't used too many products that my hair doesn't like and like, my hair reacted bad to this. 
So I'm not going to make this video any longer than it should be, but I hope that you guys really listen to this video and do not purchase this product. Well, actually, I ain't going to tell y'all what to do with y'all money, but I hope you guys like this video. If you did, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my next video. See you guys next time. Peace.